Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, we will quickly understand the 10 very important spotted differences between Node MCU and Arduino Uno. Which one would you prefer? I will answer this question a little later. Let's first go through the differences that we have between these two. There are a real plenty of differences and I am going to go through one by one. The major differences are listed. First one, GPIO pins. We have got 20 GPIO pins in Arduino Uno, whereas we have got 18 GPIO pins in Node MCU. 20 versus 18. Arduino has got 20, Node MCU has got 18. Let's go to the next one. The voltage logic. Arduino Uno pins always work on 3.3 volt logic. Node MCU also follows the 3.3 volt logic. So there is no major difference in this aspect. The major difference with respect to Wi-Fi connectivity and Bluetooth support. Node MCU has got onboard Wi-Fi and Bluetooth support. Node MCU has got ESP8266 embedded onto the board. But Arduino does not have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth support inbuilt or onboard. You need to go for an external interface, external IC to be connected to it to get the Bluetooth or the Wi-Fi support. The next difference is with respect to the digital pins. The Arduino Uno has got 14 digital pins whereas Node MCU has got the same number of digital pins so there is no major difference in this aspect. Coming to the analog pins, Arduino has got 6 analog GPIO pins whereas Node MCU has got only one analog GPIO pin. Only one. It is very small hence it, has, it can support only very limited number of analog and digital pins and we have got only one analog pin out there. Next one is the PWM pins. Arduino Uno has got 6 default PWM pins whereas in Node MCU we do not have support for PWM pins at all. Coming to the output points, uh, it has got 3.3 volts and 5 volts support with Arduino Uno but it has got only 3.3 volt output support in Node MCU. Uh, remember Arduino Uno can get you both 3.3 volt and 5 volt and you can see that in the pinout here 3.3 and 5 both are supported but when it comes to Node MCU it is only 3.3 volts. That's a major difference. Coming to the ROM, Arduino Uno has got 32 KB of a ROM which is a flash memory and again when you come to Node MCU only 4 MB we have a ROM in flash, which is also a flash memory. So we have got 4 MB for Node MCU, we have got 32 KB for uh, Arduino Uno. Arduino Uno is comparatively lesser here, Node MCU is better in this aspect. It has got 4 MB. Now coming to the interfacing aspect of it. Arduino Uno can be connected with USB type B port but Node MCU can be connected with micro USB port. The size is very small and you can connect it with micro USB. The size is the next major aspect. You can see that on screen the development board size is comparatively larger for Arduino Uno but it is very small for Node MCU and it's very suitable for prototyping and proof of concept kind of applications when you go ahead with Node MCU. The final difference is with respect to the cost. Original boards if you have to buy you will have to spend at least 1500 rupees and various sellers are there to sell it. It's equivalent to 20 USD at least. But there are a low grade uh, duplicate versions which means the copy versions which are available as well for Arduino you know that will come for a much cheaper price. But when you want to buy it original you will have to pay a little high. When you go with uh, uh, Node MCU you, are, you can buy it for 350 rupees to 400 rupees that's approximately 6 to 7 dollars and that's easy to use. Now coming to the point which one would I use, which one would I prefer, Arduino or Node MCU. When I have to prototype, when I have to use the proof of concept stuff, I will go with one of these and if I need only internet and Bluetooth and a limited capacity, I will go with Node MCU because it is pretty easy for me to use and then to keep it also. It, it occupies a very limited space on the board. But when I have to go with a real productizing, I cannot use either of this and I need to really choose a better platform. So these boards are called prototyping boards and they cannot really be used in the industry standard applications at a higher scale. That's my opinion and I hope you like this session. We'll have more of these kind of sessions in near future as well. Thank you very much for the support and uh, all this you guys are giving me through this channel. And if you like this channel and the content, please subscribe and refer it to your friends. Thank you and stay safe.